Okay. All right. So let me. Can you hear me over the computer right now? Can you hear me on the computer or no? Okay. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Am I? All right. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm talking over the computer and you just are watching maybe over your phone. Okay. So let me do this. I'll put one ear in the computer and then I'll put the other ear talking into the cell phone. Okay. So when you first open up your MetaTrader 4, okay. When you first open up the MetaTrader 4, it's going to look something like this. Okay. All right. So you got, you got your four windows there. Okay. All right. Up at the top, this is your toolbar. This whole bar running across here up at the top. Okay. These are your different time frame windows that you have here. Okay. Mouse, cursor, all of this stuff. So basically, we want to cover just how to enter into a trade. But right now, we only have these four trades up here. So we need to get to the market. So to get to the market watch, you could do two different ways. You can go up here and you can click right here. That's templates. You keep hold your cursor over to show you what each thing is. You got auto trading, new order, market watch. See how it says market watch right there? So if I click on market watch, you'll see you've got different pairs here. Okay. See all the different pairs. So let's say I want to uh, put a trade in on the Euro AUD. I find it here and then I drag it into the box that I want. You notice this one says USDCAD right now. I'm going to drag the Euro. So I left mouse click on it, then drag it and let go. See how that changed to the Euro AUD? See how that happened? Okay. Now, I can make any one of these boxes bigger if I want by just clicking here on this box here to maximize. And when I want to minimize, I got to make sure I don't click on this one, but I click on this little one right here underneath. And it says restore down. So I'm just going to click on that little window to make it tiny again. I don't want to hit the minus button. So let me go back again. Let's pick this one right here maximize see how it's there i don't hit this for minimize because that's going to bring it down here on my chart i don't want that i want it to come back where i can see it so i click on that button restore down and it's right back here in this window you see that okay i'll, I'll click back on it if I hold my cursor over that little one right there, see it says restore down. I'll put it back over it again. Restore, restore down, and then now I restore it back down, okay? So that is my market watch. So if I'm going to place a trade, I'm going to pull something over in there, okay? But to place a trade, I have to, one of the first things is going to ask you is do you have an account set up, like a demo account? So you have to have either a demo account or a regular account. And of course your demo account, as soon as you download MetaTrader 4, it's gonna ask you what your demo account is. So to take a look at that, I'm gonna go click here. I'm gonna left click on charts. Then I go to insert. I'm just looking over here, view. So I wanna view the actual navigator window because in the navigator window, that's how you move around the chart. So I can either get to the navigator window two ways. I can click on view and then I can click on data window, navigator. See, it's right there. Or I can go direct, <clears throat> directly to here and click on navigator. So you notice how this popped up down here at the bottom. <clears throat> so in the navigator window, you notice I have several accounts. I have my JF, JAFX demo account. I've got two real accounts here. 
let's say I wanted to put, I wanted to set up another account. So I would click on, let's say I want to set up another demo. I click on JAFX demo. All right. And then I click here. And this comes up. So it's going to allow me to access that account. Well, let's say I don't have that account. I've got a new one. So if there's nothing there and I click on demo, this little box will pop up. And it's telling me to log in or put in my MetaTrader 4 account that I have with a JAFX or a Trader's Way. So it's asking me for that account. Because each one of those accounts give you an ID number. And then they also give you a password. You follow me? So this one right here is my demo account on that server, right? So I'm going to put there, click yes. And you notice it makes a number. Now I'm in on that demo account, okay? Now, the only other thing you really need to see here on this page before we start making a trade is the terminal window. So to view the terminal window, you go to view and terminal that's one way you can get to it view terminal or another way you get to it if you take your cursor and you go here here over over let's see if we can find something that says terminal strategy terminal see right there now watch what happens when i click terminal look at the bottom of the screen watch what happens boom you see how that popped up? So now at the terminal, it's going to show you your balance, what you got going on. If I click here on account history, it's going to let me know the different accounts, what I did, the pluses, the minus when I was in there playing around. And I go back to the trade because I use this when I teach people and I just enter in a trade. So, um, so basically, this right here lets you know right now this has eighteen hundred dollars in there okay so let's say i wanted to go place a buy on the gbp jpy that's already up here in this window okay so i click on this window i maximize it okay and i'm right now in a chart that is a what window it's a 15 minute chart if i click on M30, it's now the 30 minute chart. The H1 is a one hour, H4 is four hours, the D1s is one is day one day. In other words, in this GBP JPY all day today, in the last 24 hours, that has been doing what? Going up or going down? Has it been going up or down today? up green is up so if i had got in for a buy at the beginning of today all the way up to there look at the amount of pips i would have made look at this i'm gonna hold the left mouse cursor down and pull this all the way up do you see those pips today 164 pips today so it takes one day to form this candle. But inside this one candle, there's many different time frames. There are multiple. And one day is, uh, what is that? Uh, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So in one day, how many four-hour candles make up this one day? It actually is one, two, three, four, five, six candles. Because six times four is 24 hours. See that? So if I was looking at this in a 24 hour window, all of that took place in 24 hours. Four candles, right? If I'm looking at it in a one hour window, 24 of these candles make up that one long green candle that you saw in the day one window you see that so you can enter in a trade from any of these windows it doesn't matter so to enter into a trade i right click on this i right click on the screen i go to one click trading see how i disappear right click one click trading 
and I'm able to place a buy or a sale right there. Or I can go here and I go down to where it says new order. So let's see if we can find it out here. <clears throat> let's go down, go down, go down. I don't see a new order on here. Well, the reason for that is, let me take this off for a second. Right now, it is after the market died. So the market is currently closed. But literally, when you still right click and I click on the word trading, see, right click trading, and there's the new order. Right click trading, new order. Okay. So basically, now when I go there to new order, I forgot I'm looking at my phone. So it's, it's in a different place on here. So there's a new order. So now a person could go in and the information that we give them, like in, in the, the signals for the different trades and stuff, they can actually enter that information in right here. They can type it in. If they want to do an instant buy, they click there. See, it says market is closed. But there would instantly put them in. If they're supposed to go in for a sale, instantly they would be in so the different types that are market execution you can do pending orders or market execution that's that's what you can do and when when the market is open you'll see other orders come up like say uh you'll see a sales uh a sale stop or sell buy you'll see a a buy stop a sell stop stuff like that okay but right now we just want them to concentrate on one simple thing and that's executing an order so all they got to do is go there and click on either buy. A buy means that it's supposed to be going up. A sale means it's supposed to be going down. So today, seeing that this was going this, if we had got in here and they told us to get in for a buy, which of these buttons would you push, Natalie? The blue one, the buy buy. It's just that simple. And if we said set your take profit for, and let's say, let's show you right here, you got in at, pull this box down. If they said get in at 148018, that would be right about here. If you look at the, see the bar, can you see the numbers on the side? I know they're small. Okay. See the number on the side? So if we said make your buy for 148018 or just get in the market execution. So if we already told you get in at 148000, but the market is already up here, you still need to jump in because we're saying, if, if we say that this could go a 200 or 100 pip, uh, set your, your take profit at 100 pips out, like 100 pips higher than that, you still could get in this market a little bit late because the distance between the take profit and where you get in it is how many pips you're planning on uh, you know, trying to get from this market. Does that make sense? Do you follow me on that? Okay. So if you see a signal that says get in here and the take profit, you get in at 148000 and you want to set your take profit for 149000. That is exactly 100 pips. See, 148000 to 149000. So basically, even if you got in at 14820, you know you still got another 80 pips to go for your take profit. So that still would be a good time to jump in that into that market for a buy. You follow me? And then if they said set your step your stop loss at 20 pips out, in other words, if they said you got in at 148000. And they said, put your stop loss. That means in case the market doesn't go up like they think it's going to go up, but it goes against you, you minimize the loss that you would take in this market. So let's say you set your stop loss for 148-147-1475. So you would come all the way down here to 147775. So basically, you set your stop loss for 25 pips from where you got into the market. Does that make sense? So that means you got in for a buy. It should be going in what direction, up or down? 
up. But if for some reason the market moves against you, the most you would lose is 25 pips if your stop loss is at 25 pips. So if you were trading at a dollar per pip, the most money you would lose would be how much money? $25. However, how much money would you gain if it got up to the 100 pip take profit? What's 100 times a dollar? Make $100. It's just that simple. So what people need to figure out before they jump in any market is their lot size. That's why it says here volume. Your lot size is critically important when you're going to go place a trade. Because even though you see it says 1.000 there, what lot size is this that you'll be trading at? It looks like $1, but it's actually a decimal over. That's a $10 lot size. So you have to be careful when you're going to place a lot size. So if you're trying to place a dollar lot size, it's always 0 0.1 because the decimal always swings one to the left. You follow me? I mean, to the right. So basically, 10 cents, what would it be? That's 10 cents. These are in increments of 10 cents. It's the lowest. They don't do like 17 cents. It's 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents. See what I mean? Then when you get up to a dollar, you can do a dollar 10 cents, dollar 20 cents. It's all in increments of 10. Does that make sense? This is key important before you log into get into any trade because if you have that set at you thinking it's a dollar and you're trading at ten dollars per pip and now it goes 25 pips against you, you just lost two hundred and fifty dollars. Yep, and you place your stop loss. It won't let me show you here, like for instance, on the computer, normally when this is running. I could get in the market and then to place my stop loss, I could actually click on the line and drag it down. But because the market is closed, it won't let me do it right now. We'd have to do it during live sessions to show you. We showed people that the other night on the phone. Now, what other questions do you have? Understand. So now, once I'm ready for trading. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so if you get a swipe trade signal, swipe trades is going to tell you, you right click on your screen, you go to trading, you go to new order. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, that's a way of doing it, or you could do it more simple. Right up here in this or window, what does it say? Okay, in the upper left-hand corner, it says new order. New order. Yeah, so you could click there and that same window will pop open. Okay. Okay? And to, okay. Cl to close a trade out, let's say you get in a trade and you rest ready, you're ready to take your profit, you always can go to, you always can go to right-click on the screen or the easiest way is down here at the bottom with this terminal open. It'll show you an active trade, and then there'll be a little X over here at the bottom right-hand corner. If you click on that X, it'll close you out of the trade. Or the next window will pop up and say, are you sure you want to close out? Yes, I want to close out. Okay? So when you're in a trade, you can always either modify the trade, meaning like you want to go in and set a different stop loss or a different take profit, or you can just... Uh, Click on cancel and you can get out of that trade right away. Okay. You, you got it? I got it. So it's real simple. Once you get in there and start doing it, you're like, oh my God, this is really easy. And that's what we want. We want everybody to be in that position where they're saying, this is easy. This is simple. I understand it. Let's do this.
is better oh yeah this is simple we want to keep everything simple so that as people get signals they get the swipe trades they know how to go in there they'll set their stop loss set their take profit they just copy and paste right into their and like for instance if they're doing it on their phone they just copy the information and paste it in there they'll paste their stop loss paste their take profit and then hit execute and it's done okay any other questions Okay.